Welcome to WP Matt. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the post list widget of the Elements Kit plugin. It's one of the most widely used widgets to show articles in different places of your website. It's so versatile that you have never seen this kind of widget before. Before getting into the main part, let me walk you through some of the ready made demos of this widget. Go to Elements Kit landing page, after that, navigate to Elements Demo, then find Post List. This is the basic one, which is the vertical style with icon. After that, you have the same but with a horizontal style. And this one is called Horizontal with Background. There you can see a bit of shadow with a border. After that, you have the post list with metadata. Then you have the lighter version with metadata. And this is the minimalist one without any metadata. And the last one is image overlay with metadata. Now let me show you how you can make this kind of post list from the scratch. Go ahead and open up any page with Elementor Page Builder. After that, from the widget panel, search post list. Then you'll find the post list widget with eKid badge. Drag in the widget on your page. Now in the left side, you'll find some settings. The first one is the show post by. Inside of this drop down, you'll find three different options. The first one is the recent post, then you have the popular post, after that you have the selected post. Let's see the recent post. By selecting the reset post from the drop down, you'll find all the recent posts from your articles. You can also make the show limit. Right now, by default it comes with limit 5, but you can make it as much as you want. Let's make it 10. Now let's see another one, which is the popular post. It will find the most popular post of your website that it will show here. Now let's see the last one, which is the selected one. Now when you open the selected one, then you have another option, which is the add item. Click on it and from the drop down, select a post. Select another post and select the third one. All right, now there is another option that I want to show is the text area. By adding title in the text area, you'll be able to change the heading of the article. Now I'm going to write three, it just for the testing purpose and show you how it works. Now let's see what we have under this setting. Now inside of the setting, we have the layout option. By default, it comes with vertical. You can also make it horizontal. After that, you can change the icon. Let's choose an icon. Then you have show featured image. Let's enable it. And this featured image comes at the left side of the title. You can also make background feature image. Now let's show metadata. And inside of this metadata, you can show date and the category meta. I want to show the category meta and then you have the option to change the metadata icon and the position. Let's keep the icon as it is and make the position bottom. Now if you want to change the color of the typography on that time you have to go to the style tab. There you'll find all the control to work with it. Now let's see another important control which is the column control. Let's go to the content tab, setting and there you'll find the column grid option. From here, you can select from one to up to six column. Let's choose three columns. After that, go to style and make a bit of padding from all side. I'll use 20 pixel. After that, you can work with the background, border and border radius. Let's use border radius five pixel from all side and use a box shadow. Let's use the overlay color little bit red. Alright, the last one inside of this list tab is the divider. Right now, I don't want to use any divider, but for your case, if you want, you can use it. Now, open the text area and inside of it, let's make the font color completely white and make the padding left zero. It will make the title and the metadata in the same alignment. After that, from the typography, let's increase the font size 20 pixel and the font family I want to make Archibald. Now, open the featured image and make the border radius 30 pixel. Now go to metadata. They'll have the option to work with the icon size, icon spacing, padding, margin, and color. Let's change the metadata color white and the font size 18 pixel. And the changes I'm making right now is just to show you how the controls work. Here the key point is the controls in different types of tab almost the same. So what you have to do, if you want to change the metadata, open the metadata tab and you'll find all the controls related to the metadata. If you want to change or modify the style of the featured image, go to the featured image tab, they'll have the related control. I haven't talked about the width, but you can explore it. So this is all about the settings you need to know in order to work with a post list widget. Thank you for watching this video.